Well, this is Copenhagen, Denmark. We've made it. This is where the 2022 Tour de France is gonna begin. Not in this park, no, but we're facing three weeks of racing, 21 stages that will eventually go all around France after we leave Denmark. We're up here for three days and it's a big thing that Denmark, Copenhagen, has the start of the 2022 Tour de France. It begins with a time trial on Fridays. So we're getting there, the start of the 2022 Tour de France, and think about it, it's the 109th edition. It began in 1903 in Paris, and back then they only had six or seven stages, these long stages. But this year, the 109th edition, it begins right out here at this intersection. You wouldn't know it by looking at it. They still got to put up all the decorations and everything to get ready for stage one. And this is gonna be a special moment because on Friday, this is the biggest point in cycling. This is where the 2022 Tour de France will begin. And we're gonna look at the favorites, take a look at the stage today, walking around this beautiful city of Copenhagen. We've made a left turn and we're about one kilometer into the course, one of the many bridge crossings over the canals that are famous here in Copenhagen, such a huge, bicycle friendly city. Everybody's out going to and from school and work. The weather is perfect, fabulous. People are enjoying the day. We don't quite know what the weather will be on Friday. We're looking at a 13 kilometer course. That's for certain, but the weather is not for certain. Right now they're talking 23 degrees Celsius, 80% chance of rain, but who knows, maybe the sun will come back. This is crazy. Copenhagen is just a city of bikes. I, I've never seen anything else like this before, not even in Belgium. Well, it's crazy here in Copenhagen and you see the true impact this race is having on a city and why cities want to host the Tour de France. We're here in town and we've been in and out of coffee shops. In one coffee shop, we saw a magazine with Casper Asgren on the front. In the 7-Eleven over there, we saw a newspaper that had Mads Pedersen, Jonas Vinigo from from Team Jumbo Visma, all these guys are local Danes. The Danes are gonna be out trying to hunt for glory. 13.2 kilometers. This is Copenhagen City Hall and adjacent to it, that's where the 13.2 kilometer time trial ends. And at the end of the day, who's gonna be the stage winner? Well, we're gonna look at several different names. The riders I already mentioned there, but then we also look like Italian Filippo Ghana recently won the time trial on the Criterium du Dauphiné second place that day and also a favorite for the day here on Friday is Walt Van Aert. Look for guys like Primoz Rolic and also Tade Pogacar. Those are the guys that are favorites for the final overall but could pull out a great time trial. Also too, Stefan Bissiger and of course Swiss rider King Kung, Stefan Kung. Now remember, it's iconic, it's yellow, it's the Tour de France. Whoever wins stage one, well, they automatically become the race leader on day one. It's something that's been happening since early in the days of the Tour de France. It's that famous Maillot Jean, the yellow jersey, and it's all gonna happen here on Friday.